Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing another haul video for all the cool manga that I got. So let's get started. The first book that we're going to highlight here is Sengoku Yoko Volume 6 from Tokyo Pop. Now I have to admit, I have not been reading this series. I love the first two volumes and I stopped when the anime began airing and I've not come back to the manga. I've kind of felt bad about that because why am I buying these books if I'm not reading them and instead they're just sitting on the shelf. So I decided to pause the show and just focus on reading these books. Now let's move on to something that should have ended ages ago. From Kodansha, we have Rent-A-Girlfriend. Here is volume 23. I like the manga, but let's be honest, this should not be as long as it is. This one has a ton of fan service, so I do apologize to all the viewers out there that do not like just blatant use of fan service in books. The premise wore out ages ago and, and the anime is still going too, so it's it's not gonna stop unfortunately. But yeah, here we are with Rent-A-Girlfriend Volume 23. Initial D Volume 1 Omnibus Edition. I decided to not get the standard cover because I think the Kinokuniya variant cover here is the best one to grab. Thanks to my pal Josh Greathouse, writer of Bang Ballad of the Tiger, which I have reviewed here on the channel. I'll put a link at the end of the video uh, where I talk about that book if you want to learn more about it, but I do recommend checking it out. And I know the character art, the designs and all that stuff, yeah, you know, it is what it is. It's a product of its time. It's not the most appealing thing, but you cannot deny the sleekness the smoothness and just the badassery of the racing scenes. And I'm not a car guy, but I really enjoy Initial D. It popularized drifting and Japanese car culture worldwide. So it does have a place in the pantheon, I guess, of pop culture with anime and manga and all that stuff. From Viz Media, here we have Call of the Night, volume 15. One of my favorite vampire manga of all time. And I'm a little disappointed, or I should say sad, that we are nearing the end. I know the manga ended in Japan. Fortunately, I have not been spoiled with what happens. And I'm a little bit behind with the reading as well. I'm on volume 11 uh, as of this video. But I am very much looking forward to catching up and giving you my full thoughts. Keeping in the style of spookiness, here we have Dark Gathering Volume 3. Now, for this one, I'm taking my sweet time to get because I watched the anime and it adapted way past what it is currently being released physically from Viz. So I already know what happens in all of these volumes. I just really want to collect it because even though I love the show, I really enjoy the art and characters a lot more in the manga. So here we are with the third volume of that. I should catch up pretty soon because I think volume six was the most recent one to come out. So that should be a quick grab soonish. Blade of the Moon Princess volume three. Really enjoyed the first two volumes. I want to continue the series. And we only have two more books to go. And maybe once we're done, I can do a quick essay video on Blade of the Moon Princess. How does that sound? Larger trim size, of course, you know I had to grab it. Insomniacs After School, here we have volume five. Also another series that I'm disappointed that has such a slow release date. It already ended in Japan and the anime aired, I wanna say last year with 12 episodes, which cover up to volume six of the manga. So I'm really looking forward to grabbing volume seven, I think which should feature new material for me as I've not read anything beyond what was shown in the anime adaptation. A prose novel slash manga, what? I don't do prose, sorry. I mostly keep to <laughs> sequential art here for graphic novels and manga. Let me backtrack a little bit. I wasn't going to grab this. This is Stitches from Hirokatsu Kihara with, of course, art from... Junji Ito. Now, I didn't want to grab it because it's prose, 
and it, it was just select illustrations for each of the mini stories or chapters presented here but it does have a bonus manga chapter towards the end which i do want to highlight for you guys here so i guess i kind of needed for my junji ito shelf collection so i grabbed it i kind of fomoed myself into doing it and it looks pretty good i must say this is a lot tinier than i was expecting the lettering and the style of it reminds me of spooky books i would rent out at the library when i was in middle school it has that vibe going for it which is good i'm not criticizing it i just was expecting a little bit more uh, oomph to it if that makes any sense from yen press we got two books tales of wedding rings volume five and volume eight a missing six and seven which were ordered but did not arrive in time for this recording now volume five was part of what was adapted in the anime so i've already seen this material and volume eight here i don't know what happens but i'm very much looking forward to reading it because yeah it's not the best thing in the world but i love the art and i genuinely like the fun aspect of you know this is sort of a, a romantic etchy lord of the rings style story from seven seas entertainment we got a couple books as well here is succubus and hitman volume six i cannot show you too much of what's happening inside because it goes places like full-on not safe for work this is a wonderful B movie type manga that I enjoy. It's action packed. I always say it's like a John Wick meets Death Note in that crazy chaos. And if you enjoy that and you do not mind numerous offensive things that happen, and by offensive, I mean like essay, really graphic violence and shootouts, gore and macabre stuff. I think you'll like it, man. It, it, it's a fun, switch off your brain, action pack read. What more can I say? Kemono Jihen volume 10. I love this series. Can't wait to read this. I'm like two volumes behind. So uh, looking forward to catching up here. The fact that it combines battle shonen and stuff with uh, yokai and Japanese folklore hits the sweet spot for this nerd right here. Yakuza Reincarnation Volume 9. I have not read the previous volume because I totally forgot to do that in preparation for this one. So uh, I need to do that part of my uh, homework assignment, if you will. But this is one of my favorite current ongoing isekai. I love this series. I have a video on Volume 1 if you do want to check it out. Sort of my first impressions on it. The 100 Girlfriends who really, really, really love you. I have here volume three and number nine. If you watched the previous haul videos, you know that as soon as the anime ended, I decided to pick up the manga and continue the story because I really loved it. It was super funny, but I didn't want to go back and get uh, the first three volumes, which were the first 12 episodes of the anime. I went ahead and just kept going with volume four and slowly I'll backtrack and grab the others. Now, I do want to mention real quick, this is not a sponsor, but I do other live streams on the Omnibus Collectors Network. And I did mention that I made a purchase through buyanime.com and it was for Tales of Wedding Rings Volume 8 and The 100 Girlfriends Volume 3. I covered the inception of that website in uh, Omni Bros Live. And I gotta say, I'm impressed. I was expecting a different experience. It is a very laggy, kind of janky site at times. It does have all the adult stuff in terms of figures, manga, and anime, Blu-rays, games, all that stuff. So if you do plan on venturing there and you've never been, they do have the warning. You're not gonna see it right away. So just be aware that that stuff is in that website. So you're not surprised all of a sudden by big old personalities right on your face <laughs> but yeah went ahead and placed an order and i think it got here in like three or four days which surprised the hell out of me and uh yeah buyanime.com before i highlight the last part of this haul i never talked about the passing of akira toriyama on this channel and i do want to make a couple videos about that sort of 
honoring Toriyama's legacy and all that and how it impacted me as a nerd growing up. I've always been a fan of Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, grew up on that, you know, the big three of the time was a Dragon Ball Z, Sailor Moon, and Pokemon. That was my gateway drug for this medium that we all love. But as I reflected on Toriyama's passing, I realized how much of an influence he was on everybody, myself included. I got like extremely emotional about it and I thought, man, here's this amazing creator that shaped everybody's imagination as kids. And I really don't have a lot of his material that I love collected. So I wanted to change that. For a long time, I've had Dragon Ball and in, in, uh, DVDs and Blu-rays, but I wanted the original source material and grabbed the Dragon Ball 3-in-1 editions. I have read Dragon Ball in the past. I've read all, all of it, but I've never owned the manga. I wanted to change that and own one of the classics when it comes to shonen manga and shonen jump magazine stuff so here is uh, or at least for this video again not all the packages arrived but here are uh seven of the 14 three-in-one editions these are the ones that are currently in print by viz the previous ones which were labeled as like uh, viz bigs omnibus or whatever those are out of print, but you can easily find them everywhere because it is Dragon Ball. Here it is, the three in one editions. I don't mind it. I love that it's small, compact size, the size of a regular Tonkobon. The pages are thin. The trim size is not big enough, yada, yada. I get it, but this is what I chose. It's the cheapest route and I think it looks amazing. I love the cover designs for these. It genuinely looks like you're holding a Japanese volume, which happens to be translated into English. I don't know, it sounds very dumb the way I'm saying it, but I hope you understand what I mean by it. And I am currently reading it. I don't know if I'm gonna talk about it or anything because everybody's talked about Dragon Ball. You know, it's such a legendary series. It's been decades since it was published but I am reading it for my own personal enjoyment. So maybe in a reading vlog, I'll tell you some of my thoughts on it. Who knows? But regardless, super excited to own the uh, OGs of the OG. Now I'm only missing a couple of the other series like Dr. Slump, which is horribly out of print, Jacko and Koa. Hopefully this is an incentive for Viz to put out more stuff from Toriyama's catalog. We'll see what happens. All right, with that lengthy haul aside, we do have one Blu-ray release. Here is the 2023 reboot of Urusei Yatsura seasons one and two. The third season is currently airing, as well as season four, which is about to start soon. And I love it. I enjoy the original. It is fantastic. But the work here done by David Productions is phenomenal i love the color palette and the updated visuals and stories and characters and all that stuff it's just a visual treat if you're a fan of lum and uh, all the crazy sidekick characters you gotta add this to your uh, collection i highly recommend it you're gonna love it okay so that's it that is the haul video this time hopefully i don't have to wait too long to make another one Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. God bless. Stay safe out there. I will catch all of you on our next video.